without a doubt, using automation in Cubase is one of the surest ways to bring your music to life. But when it comes to editing that automation, knowing and understanding the options that are available can make the difference between some very tedious operations or having things done very quickly in a streamlined fashion. Up on the toolbar is an option to open up the automation panel, and this panel kind of serves as a hub for just about all the different operations that happen with automation. And if you are familiar and know how to use these options, they can really help move you along. For example, in this first column, we have a heading that says Fill. And that means these various options are going to edit the automation in some way, typically between a couple of different points. If we enable Write on this track, begin playing it, and then move this fader, I can begin writing various automation right on the track. Once I've written this automation, let's say I want to edit something where I take my pencil tool, and then I come to this point and draw the automation at the very bottom, and then drag it along to another point, and then let go of it. That did a pretty good job, except for the fact that there's a lot of little extra points, depending on how well I drew my line, that if I didn't want those, now I have to sit here and select them, either in group or individually, press delete to remove those. If we use this option to punch, and I turn that on, what's going to happen as the cursor moves along when I grab the fader and start moving it, that's going to be registered as a punch-in point. Wherever I finally end up, in this case, I'm going to drag it all the way to the bottom again. Once I release that fader and turn off my automation, it's going to draw a straight line from wherever I basically punched out all the way back to where I punched in with no extra little extraneous points. I start the song playing. I turn the fader down. I release it. Stop the project. And now I have this straight line that remembers where I punched in at and finishes where I punched out. Besides all these options for various push buttons and selecting the various parameters for your automation, there's drop-down lists that allow you to do complete tasks at one time, delete all the automation in a project, or delete automation in a certain range. But if you move over to the Settings tab, you have this option to set up what's called Use Virgin Territory. Many times when you're writing your automation, depending on how you've set things up, other areas of your track that you may or may not want to have altered can be affected by automation that you're writing in one particular place. If you choose this option to use virgin territory, then you can write in automation that only affects the area where the automation is being written. Again, if I arm this track to write, play the project a little bit and write some automation in, as I'm writing it, it's only going to write that automation in that particular spot and not affect anything else down the line. And you have the option to reveal the parameter on write. This basically means that the minute you touch the knob or slider, you're going to automatically get an automation lane. For a complete walkthrough of all these different features and functions and step-by-step -step demonstrations covering the entire subject of automation in Cubase, visit the digitalaudiomanual.com.